Hello there and welcome to my channel Novice Modelling in a Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy and today we're doing a What's in the Box kit review on my Marivox FFVS J22 Swedish Fighter. Now Marivox you're probably not familiar with as a uh, kit manufacturer are actually a Swedish company and at some point in the 1990s they appear to have produced four models. Not exactly what you'd call a stellar contribution to the modelling world, but they have given us this one here, which is in line with what I'm doing at the moment, which is building kits from the Second World War era that basically follow the pattern of small, uh, smaller uh, European nations' air forces. Now, obviously, the Swedes didn't actually take part in the um, chaos of the Second World War. They had a little bit more sense, but they did actually have a rather interesting um, aircraft industry. And this is a homegrown fighter. Uh, they also produced this Saab 21A twin boom pusher. They license built this um, Swedish B5 dive bomber, which consulting my notes is actually a Northrop A17. And they had a number of these um, J9EP1106s, which is actually a US built um, P35 by Seversky. So they had a fair bit of uh, deterrent going on, which is kind of what you'd expect if you've got the Russians on one side, the Finns on the other side, you can't decide who they, whose side they want to be on, and you've got the Germans masquerading as your friends because they want to buy iron ore off you. So it kind of made sense to have some aircraft in their inventory. So what we're going to do is our what's in the box review. Uh, there'll be what's in the boxes for these three other aircraft as part of our You Choose My Next Build theme series. So all I'm asking you to do is to basically just pick a model you would like me to build and write the name of it in the uh, comments section. And whichever one gets the most votes is the one that I'll build next. So as per the normal format, we're going to have a look at the blurb provided by Marivox about this interesting aircraft. We're going to have a look at the instructions. Then we're going to have... Um, a look at the actual sprues and the parts itself and the decals. So for those of you that are not aware of this aircraft, uh, when World War II broke out, the Swedish Air Force had no modern fighter aircraft. At this time, it was impossible to purchase aircraft from abroad. Consequently, the Swedish Air Force had to develop a fighting plane for themselves. The J-22 fighting plane project began in early days of 1941, and the first prototype took to the air on the 20th of September 1942. During the years 1943-46, to 46, a total of 200 J-22 J aircraft were built in two different versions, the J-22A prototype with initial production model, and the J-22B with revised armament were built directly by the Swedish Air Force. The plane itself was built of wood and steel and powered by a Pratt & Whitney rail radial engine, Swedish unlicensed copy, you naughty Swedes. Uh, during its time, J-22 became the fastest aircraft in the world compared to its original, compared to its engine power. Unfortunately, there are only a few J-22 aircraft left. One of those can be seen at the Swedish Air Force Museum in Linköping in Sweden. So... Here's our instructions, which are kind of basic, but it is kind of a basic kit, so we're not going to get too upset about that. Um, as you can see, the first thing we're going to look at is the uh, cockpit interior, which is kind of basic. It's just a seat and a stick and a floor. Uh, we have an instrument panel to attach, and we have a small interior piece to go in as well. Then we're going to attach our um, cockpit cover. We're going to deal with the tailplane and we're going to put the undersurface of the wing on. Then we're going to attach the two sections of the upper wings. We're going to pop the engine in. And then we're going to put the engine housing and propeller on. And then we're going to move on to this section, number six here, where we're going to deal with our undercarriage, some little exhausts, tail wheel, and all the little extra small pieces. Um, on the underside here, you can see we've got a very basic black and white diagram which shows you the undersurfaces uh, and the top surfaces, which as per the box are green and the pale gray. And then it shows you the locations or correct locations for the various decals. So we've got one stationed in the copping, 
we've got another one here in 1946 and then we have 1944 i'm not even going to try and say that and obviously this aircraft was still flying knocking around in the 1950s as we have a set of decals for that also get another extra sheet with this which is kind of interesting for me um, it says Marivox models, kit number one, which is the J22. We have kit number two, which is the Saab 105 light attack and recon aircraft, which is a jet fighter, but we're not really interested in that. We have kit number three, a Saab 17 Swedish dive bomber. If anybody knows where I can get one of these from, I'd be most interested. So if there's anybody out there in um, Sweden, hi Svaj, uh, I'd be grateful, you know, if you can, if anyone's got one and they want to sell it, please do drop me a line. And then kit number four was this de Havilland Vampire, which I'm not particularly interested in. Um, we've got more um, details here for where our stencils, the instructions have got to go. And we've got a few more details on the back of that. The decals are quite nice and colourful looking and are printed by uh, Techmod. Uh, as you can see, we've got the standard three crowns uh, roundel and we have a variety of letters and numbers couple of unit insignias so they look kind of fun and they generally look to be half decent quality um the uh, kit itself oh let's just talk about the actual timeline for this uh, the tool for this was produced in 1992 and there were some new parts in 2006 i'm kind of going to guess the new parts with the decals to be honest with you because it doesn't really seem to be any great shakes on the actual tooling itself so the sprues, as you can see, it's kind of basic looking. We've got some rather indistinct panel lines and hatches and what have you. We've got some little um, fuel uh, ports by the look of it. We've got a detailed uh, instrument panel. We've got the wheels, which have got some, um, got some bolts on them. There's our tail wheel. Not too sure what that is. There's our oleo oleo arms it's the undercarriage and uh, we have our propeller which got a bit of detail on it and we have one section of the fuselage which again has got some kind of faint panel lines but at least they've made the effort our second sprue is the other section of our fuselage we've got our engine which meh, it's got a bit of detail on it i suppose Got the rudder, tail, and the engine housing. So it's a nice little basic kit. It's got fixed machine guns who so don't have to fart around putting those on. And you can see it's got some nice little panel lines going on on the underside as well. The cockpit cover is just one piece dumped in the baggie. Kind of looks a bit basic. I'm kind of thinking they need to trim a bit off here because it's kind of angled. So I think we have to get at that with the cutters, not too sure. But we'll have a look at some point. Doesn't really seem to have this bulge on right there, but yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, Price-wise, I picked this up. It doesn't seem to be very easy to get hold of, but I got it off um, eBay uh, for eight ninety nine. Uh, the vendor who supplied it to me is a company called Scalemates, who I've got quite a lot of my sort of rather more interesting um, small Air Force kits off. They do charge £3.95 for postage, but that's on the first kit you buy only. So if you buy multiple kits, you only pay £3.95 postage. As you may be aware, I tend to buy these things en masse, 10 at a time, so I probably only paid the four quid. Uh, and what we're also doing is we're experiencing different drinks from different countries, and we've managed to find ourselves some rather nice Macmyra. Oh, I've already got some. A rather nice Macmyra Brook Risky, uh, which is a Swedish single malt. So we'll just have a go at this and say a skal, which is uh, cheers in Swedish. Mm, it's quite nice. It's got a bit of a kick to it. It's got some good flavours going on. I'm not really an expert in whiskey, like I'm not really an expert in modelling, but I kind of like that. So up to up next, we're going to be doing some uh, what's in the boxes on the Saab J. 21A, the Saab B5 Swedish Bomber, and this uh, J9 EP5, which is a Sversky. Um, the schedule for all this fun is we're releasing two What's in the Boxes on Saturday, the 
sorry, we did a introductory video on Saturday the 2nd. We're doing two watts in the boxes on Sunday the 3rd. We're doing two watts in the boxes on Monday the 4th. And please put your votes in and I'll be counting them up at midnight on Tuesday the 5th of November. And that's when the voting will close. And then at some point over the following three days when I'm off, I'll start building this kit. I'm not going to promise to finish it though because I haven't really finished any of the other ones that we've started so far. So, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe, and do tune in to the other What's in the Boxes that will follow, and have a look at some of our incredibly interesting videos that we've already done, which includes aircraft from the uh, Finnish Air Force, which we're currently still completing, and we've also started this IAR-80 from the Romanian Air Force, and we'll be following this up with um, multiple um, build series for loads of other small air forces as well, including the Slovaks, the Poles, the Greeks, the Norwegians, the Danes, the Belgians. Uh, we've got Spanish Civil War aircraft, we've got the Dutch, which we've got some really nice interesting aircraft. We also venture into some of the larger air forces, like the Italians and the Russians, and we're going to do some German jets. And we're all going to in intersperse this with starting to build some of our rather largest selection of 135 armour kits, which I've been promising to do for a while, but I'm just a bit lazy and bone idle. Like I said, procrastination is an expert expertise that I am a master of, and I do it quite often. So please do like and subscribe. Please do check out some of our other interesting vids, which include 150 odd what's in the box kit what's in the box kit reviews you might actually find something interesting in there that you might want to actually buy for yourself if you have any questions or any suggestions or just any comments please do drop us a line in the comments bar and please do remember to have a vote because why the hell not it's democracy it's kind of european it's kind of fun and it's kind of international so be seeing you and skull